Yeah, corals surprise me every day. They are such weird organisms. What we're trying to achieve is to assist the evolution of corals so that we can help them to adapt faster to climate change and in particular to rising sea temperatures and ocean acidification. Now the way in which we are trying to achieve this is by harnessing the natural mechanisms of evolution that corals possess. We need to speed up those natural processes of evolution. Once the corals spawn, they release their sperm and eggs in bundles, and those bundles float to the surface of the tank. And we then use a simple beaker to scoop off these bundles from the water surface, and we then agitate that to separate the eggs from the sperm. And we use that to set up our specific in vitro process, basically. We have developed previously a range of genetic markers that will allow us to identify parental colonies, colonies that will spawn, that are more stress tolerant than others. We then grow these corals out and let nature select the particular corals that are doing the best under ocean conditions. So its ultimate goal is that we will use these selectively bred corals to populate heavily damaged reefs. And the corals shouldn't actually look much different from the way they look today. I envisage that if we manage to grow more tolerant corals that we would restore reefs that we know um, act as source reefs so that send off um, larvae to surrounding reefs. So even if we repopulated a small area, if we pick that area right, in theory we could restore a much larger area of the Great Barrier Reef. I think it's our responsibility to try and find solutions to deal with the problems that coral reefs are facing today because if we lose reefs and all of their services and beauty and nature, it would be an incredible shame. It's our duty to try and protect the reefs.